Hey, what's up, you guys? Today I got some pretty exciting news for an app that I'm going to be reviewing, slash showing, slash geeking out about. It's Plants vs. Zombies 2. I am super excited. I absolutely love the first one. So right off the bat, this one gets 10 out of 10 all over the board because I'm going to beat this game in, like, I don't even know, a few days. Tops. You know, with going to work and everything. So, let's get into it. First off, it's Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. I like the title. You know, it's about time. Like, it's about time another damn game comes out. And, you're also time traveling. It's a play on words. It's hilarious. Dig it. Alright. So, first off, right off the bat, you got Ancient Egypt is where you're starting from. It says 0 out of 40, even though I've I'm only beat two levels in it. So, whatever. You got Pirate Seas and Wild West. Really excited about Pirate Seas. Check out a quick preview of it. You can see some of the zombies and plants that you'll be having. A little bit of the layout. But as you can see, it says you gotta beat Egypt final day. And it comes with 22 levels, 1 challenge zone, 8 plants, 2 upgrades. The year is 1679. The golden age of zombie piracy. Keep your booty close and your plants closer as zombies take to the seas to plunder your brains. Wild West. Head down the dusty trail for a showdown with the outlaw zombies of yesteryear. Gather up your plants for a big brain rush of 1850. 33 new items, 22 levels, 1 challenge, and 7 plants, 3 upgrades. Alright, so let's go into ancient Egypt. And, as you can see, when you look at it, it now has this old school, really reminds me of like a Mario type thing, old game where it goes from level to level. And let me zoom in, you just use a pinch to zoom, and just swipe over. After level 2 there, I got the cabbage thrower, I am on level 3, and then you can unlock... And go down, and you can come over here, get your star right there. And you've got multiple stars all over the place. Alright. The Sphinx is a zombie. So, let's check out one of the levels. Let's go with level 3, I have not played yet. And something new that I really like, that's your time machine that you ride around in. Whatever. But, down at the bottom, you see the little leaf. As you get, when you need a new, when you get a, the leaf, spend some coins on plant food. Let's get some plant food. It pretty much turns whatever plant pea shooter you are using into a crazy, high-powered, murderous pea shooter. For a few seconds. And you can see we have the Ancient Egypt uh, vacuum cleaners. Something else that is new that so far is in Egypt, I don't know, I doubt they'll do it in the Pirates or the Wild West one, is when you get a sun, it'll be a red sun that starts darting side to side and moving away from you. It is going towards the pharaoh looking zombie, who once he gets it, it goes into his little staff and then I'm not really sure what it does from there. I've let it happen a couple of times to see what happens and he pretty much died right after because these are the easier levels where if you die on them you just suck balls completely and you also have like that zombie down there you can see he's glowing green uh, I kinda think that means that you get a plant uh, life seed thingy Miracle Grow looking dealy from him. Yep. Right there's another one. Now you can see the Pharaoh come on. And right there you see that the stars go to him. I think he just collects them. That way you can't have them. Yeah, you know, these are the early levels, so pretty easy. Uh damn he got another one. Alright, that's kind of a pain in the ass that he keeps doing that. Uh, so far I've noticed coins come out a lot. You get a lot more coins 
as you're playing. Damn, we got another one. All right, let's uh, check out. That's what happens when you use the plant life on them. It's pretty cool. I like it. Let's uh, throw a cabbage dude in here. You know, in the first one, the pea shooters were my favorite ones to use. I don't know if they did the most damage, but... I don't know. When you got the repeaters on them and all that, that was just my favorite. Another coin... Yeah, gameplay is very, 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 very similar to the first Plants vs. Zombie, which is not a biggie at all. I mean, honestly, who would mind that? That was one of, one of my favorite games to come out on any phone I've had. I've had it on all my phones. And right now, this is free. I don't know if they're going to up the price at all in the future for this game. It wouldn't surprise me. I know uh, First Plants vs. Zombies, the price did go up. Uh, when you get a bucket head, him, you do pretty much need to use your uh, repeater on him. Alright, and the huge wave of, wave of zombies is a little delayed. I've noticed... Okay, we have a tornado. That is new. Ooh. Oh, look at that. You can use your uh, plant life on other plants as well. Did not know that. This is only the second time I've been played this game, and we got the key, so we will be able to do that, go unlock that other level then. But I'm not going to do that. All right now, Egyptian key, it's an ancient key, now all you need is an ancient lock. That's a couple levels away. Alright, there it is. What do we do? Uh, I never read this stuff. Honestly. Look at that. Blue Meringue. Blue Meringue. Hit up to three targets in its lane twice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, right there. That is a star. That is a level we will get a star on. Not going to do it, though, right now. Let's go check out the store. Coins for money. Maybe they will keep it a free game. Since, you know, people spend a lot of freaking money on their games, which is stupid if you ask me. Although, you know what? They got t shirts, toys, and more. Looks like they got some plushes. Hmm. I do love a good t-shirt. Alright, so we got a book up here. Let's click on the book. This just tells you a little bit about the what you got. Here we got our classic zombies. And then we go into the... Like here's the, the raw zombie. And this is where the... Uh, see, Special tries to steal Sun. Because he's not cool. Alright. There's plenty of room for the other zombies that will eventually be in. This is our map, as we saw before. Alright, this is the main menu. Uh, yeah. So, let's just check out the t-shirt. What, like, what kind of gear they got going on real quick. So, this is going to take us online. We got the t-shirt, 18 bucks. 
Yeah, not happening. Not paying 40 for... Not... What? Alright, prices suck. Never mind. Let's check it out. Ooh, although, you know what? Zombie Yeti watch, pretty cool. Alright, some of the stuff is cool, I will admit. The plush is neat. Let's just look at apparel real quick. How much? How much? 18 bucks a tee, 18 bucks a hat. Alright, well, that's the game. Go get it immediately. I doubt they're going to raise the price since they have all that in-store in purchasing stuff. But, go get the game. Everyone knows it's amazing. You know it's amazing. Get it, love it, play it all the freaking time. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, check back because I will be doing, when I unlock the pirates, hopefully like tomorrow or the next day I unlock the pirates, I will be doing, showing, doing a video for that and for the Wild West. And I'll probably just be doing some random videos on it just because I love this game. As you can tell, I'm super excited. Alright, you guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to thumbs up, don't forget all that good stuff for me. Really helps me out. And you guys have a good one. Go play some Plans for Zombie Tale.